Good afternoon all, Camelback Trading that all coming to you this Wednesday afternoon, May 5th. And we're looking at Window Traders market profiles of SPY, SPY IWMN Triple Q, excuse me. And a very weird day, a very weird finish to the day, I should say, especially in ES and SPY, considering we took back 103 cents out of the 107 uh, tick gap. Only to not fill it and to sell off and almost take out the lows of the day in L&M. Um, much different scenarios in Russell and Triple Qs. So let's start with Triple Q. We all had trouble with our openings today, okay? Triple Q open inside the big sell tail. Got above it, never took the whole sell tail back, really never saw the opening again. Has an inside day, but goes out with a trend day. So incredibly, they have a, an inside day, but they have a double distribution day. Interesting. Russell, they open inside their sell tail. Almost get to the top of it. Fail. Come all the way back down. They have an inside day. They end eight wide. So some bizarre days. So they're both inside. Now, what did we do? In SPY and ES, we gap higher inside the gap, finally get this wide pock, 11 wide, but can't get this gap by four cents. And we even tried later in the day in ENF. We got both sides, uh, both overnight high and low. We only get the uh, IB high, but we almost attempted to get the IB low. We end nine wide. We actually raised pock and then flush out and never recover. So how much do we take from what L&M does? That's always the question. The bottom line is though, we closed below last week's low. So even though we spent a good part of the day back and forth through yesterday's high and above yesterday's uh, last week's low, we stayed above. Look at H, H got down almost to it, went back up. I'm like, wow, that's pretty good. They, they raised POC. We're going to hold last week's low. We're going to go up in KL and M, fill the gap and see what we get. And we do the opposite. It'll be very interesting now tomorrow. The thing that buyers did do is put the daily back in balance, but it should be uh, interesting. If we don't get back acceptance back into last week's low, we will go see those two weekly lows in the 410 level. Keep that in mind. I had a good day today. Didn't do a lot of trading, but I had a good day. Um, I actually took longs in A and B period. I traded today's expirations. I traded the 415 calls. I didn't buy, again, You know, everybody screams gap rules apply. Well, they don't apply to me unless I put them into context. We opened and drove straight down, filled the gap. I said, maybe that's all they want to do. So I took a long and it went back up for me. So I made out on that one. Then B, one time frame down. Like, well, we have higher value. Let's see what happens if we test value high from yesterday which is basically what we did. It got long down there and it went back up. So even though we were one time framing down, I took longs at visual areas where I thought buyers would show up again. When the gap filled, they did, went up. When we got down to value high, held, got down to the 20-day moving average, held, went back up. Then I didn't do anything to E period. I took a short knee. I said, we, we made a new high. We're not going anywhere. There was only a small one though. And the reason it was small, I was waiting to take out the gap. And then if we didn't go trend and that's all they wanted to do, I'm like, well, we still have the price probe. I was looking to take some size, but we could, I'm like, well, we're going to fill the gap, right? Well, so it was only a small one, 419 puts, it worked. Didn't do anything in F, why? Because I was waiting for it to fill the gap, didn't happen. So when that didn't happen, I took puts when G took out F slow, I took the 419 puts. I'm like, okay, buyers aren't getting anything, we're going to flush out now and we'll get an afternoon pullback. So 419 puts on that flush worked. Well, lo and behold, when I got out of the puts and then H started, I was waiting for half back and value low at the time. I didn't quite get what I wanted and it went back up. Even in J, I didn't take it. It went back up. I'm like, you know what? That I missed the train both times, but I was being stubborn on my entry. So when L came down, I said, well, I am not doing it at H and J's low. Now I want to see uh, value low and see what happens. And I waited for that and I got in a good entry. It was above C's high, 
took a quick 40 calls of the four 15s, and they went up right away for me and made good, uh, made a very nice trade on that. And then I did actually one more time in LA, took a 10 lot only. I said, the next time we're down there, I'm not gonna be as comfortable. Only took a 10 lot. I said, if we get below C's low, I'm out. We did that, I lost small on that. But overall, it was a good, it was a good day. So um, no complaints. Uh, I, I thought the day was very readable. The only thing that kind of uh, surprised me is how much L took down and, 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 and M really never recovered. But other than that, uh, turned out to be a very nice day. So destinations for tomorrow. And again, we have, we have some destinations to the upside. First is the uh, nine wide pocket, 416.66, which is K's low. Then we have today's high of 417.63 and then filling the four cent gap at 67 cents. And then we have the 418.17 price pro from the third and you should have the rest of the upside destinations. Now for the downside, they get a little dicey again. We don't have anything to today's low, 414.94. Then we have the nine wide park, which is a dollar one low at 413.93. Then we have the 413.48, which I use as the pullback. And then we have yesterday's low, 411.98. Now keep in mind, Schwab at TOS, there's a lot of bad data out there. They have Spy's low is 415.15. That is incorrect. The low is B's low, 414.94. They also have our volume at only 35 million. Well, at 4 p.m., the volume was at 47 million. <clears throat> so the volume on the day is going to be incorrect, including the after hours. We had some data issues in E period, and it obviously carried forward with the day's low and the volume. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let's go to the charts. Now, also keep in mind, well, before I get to the charts, look at this one, and somebody mentioned this in the room, and that's what's great about the room. There's so much, so many intelligent traders in here. We have the job number out on Friday. There's some big numbers being thrown around. So we had a wide pock yesterday, a wide pock today. So I'm curious to see if this market might play in between these two tomorrow until we see what happens with Friday's job number. I mean, they're looking for just under a million. Other people are saying it could be as high as three million. I'll tell you what, if the job number is poor, it will probably help the market a lot better because I think people are worried if that job number does come out over a million and God forbid three million, well then, that ugly inflation word starts coming up again. And believe me, even though Powell keeps denying it, that's one of the tools in their toolbox. <laughs> you know, they, they keep making it sound like the tools in their toolbox is to help the market, um, you know, to backstop it. But I can assure you, even though that's what it's done for the past 12 years, if inflation starts getting out of control and they find themselves behind the eight ball and they start raising rates, this market will get slammed. So any job number that's positive could actually have a negative effect on the market. So tomorrow we might bounce in between to see what that number is on Friday. And then on the charts, here we are. The weekly, last week's low, 416.30. We got above it pretty good today, closed below it. Like I said, the bigger picture, if we don't get acceptance in there and acceptance isn't just trading above it it's staying above it well then again the next destination are those two weekly lows around the 410 level and in the daily we bounced off the 20 we took out yesterday so we went balance bear we're back to balance so do we come out of balance to the bear again or do we come out of balance to the upside again all remains to be seen I hope you had a great day trading. Have a lovely evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.